Hello all of you lovely people, welcome back to our top 10 series where we give you super cool awesome top 10 lists, I'm Court McGinley. Now we're all aware who the kings and queens of the YouTube world are and I bow down to them. They are incredible and deliver amazing content. One of the main queens would have to be Jenna Marbles who is sitting pretty with 16 million subs. At VidCon I had the pleasure of meeting her and she's literally one of the nicest people on this planet, no joke. But sadly this list isn't about YouTubers that are living it up, instead this is a list of top 10 YouTubers who have lost the most subscribers. Cue the sad music. Now most of these YouTubers are still doing pretty well for themselves but at one point or another they took a pretty bad hit. Now I'm not going to lie, these numbers are pretty hard to find since they are constantly changing. But alas, I'm going to do my best to break it down for you guys. But first I want to know who's your favorite YouTuber and why, let me know your answer down in the comments. Alright let's get started, in our number 10 spot we have Fred. Now Fred has been part of YouTube pretty much since it's taken off and basically everyone knows who he is. But for those of you who are like, who? Fred is a fictional character who is portrayed by Lucas Cruikshank and he is mostly known for his crazy content and high pitched voice. His channel was the first channel on YouTube to reach 1 million subscribers which he hit back in 2009. Over time Lucas became very successful and decided to sell his channel and during this time he made 3 movies based off of Fred. Now at this time Fred the channel was still producing content but since it was pretty different and didn't involve the character Fred, fans weren't too excited about the new videos and over time the channel has lost thousands of subscribers. Even though the channel hasn't uploaded a video since July 16, 2015, the more recent videos have been doing better with views and the channel currently has 2.5 million subscribers. Next in our number 9 spot we have Matt Santoro. Matt did make this list because after grade 8 under 8 posted a video on May 1st 2016 called the YouTubers complaining about drama rant, Matt gets called out as being a plagiarizer. Fans took note and Matt actually took a hit and lost thousands of subs due to this one video. But I'm not gonna lie, when you watch the video some valid points are made and the evidence to back it up is there. But since then Matt now sources all of his work so he can't be accused of plagiarism again. But all this definitely did not result in the defeat of Matthew Santoro, he is still killing it with 5 million subscribers and his videos are still receiving a high number of views. In our number 8 spot we have Kev Jumba. Kev Jumba is another OG of the YouTube world. Kev joined YouTube back on July 27, 2006 and basically one day out of the blue he just went missing. Fans were pretty disappointed in the fact that they never really got a goodbye video or explanation on what was going on. From what we can tell based off of his social media platforms he decided to leave YouTube to follow his beliefs and go on a spiritual journey. Also back in 2014 he was posting a bunch of pictures on his Instagram and one that was posted on May 22, 2014 he was letting his followers know that thanks to their help in raising money through the Jumba Fund, he was able to build a school in Africa. So it looks like he's doing a lot of good in the world and has found his new passion in helping people. His channel Jumba Fund is still up and running, but there hasn't been a post made in 3 years. And his main channel has recently been deleted. Before the channel was deleted, it did lose quite a few subscribers due to the lack of uploads. In our number 7 spot we have Trisha Paytas. Trisha lost a ton of subscribers after she put out a political video 2 months ago which has since been taken down. In this video she was telling everyone why they should vote for Donald Trump. As you can imagine, this didn't go over too well. The video ratios of likes to dislikes was insane. Before the video was taken down, I think it was at around 75,000 dislikes to 7,000 likes. That's like Nicole Arbor status. That is when she doesn't disable the like and dislike buttons. Trisha went on to receive so much hate and negative reaction videos as well as losing thousands upon thousands of subscribers. Before this video she had 2.5 million subscribers and this brought her back down to just over 2 million. Now the channel is back up to 2.3 million so she's getting back up there. Moving on to our number 6 spot we have SoFlo. This guy has become one of the most hated YouTubers. He has 3 channels but as of 4 weeks ago hasn't posted on any of them. Over the last 30 days he lost 3,000 subscribers but back in February he lost a around 13,000 subscribers in just a month's time due to his lack of consistent uploading. Aside from lack of consistent uploading, he hasn't been coming out with the greatest content either. He's getting less and less views on the videos he does upload and the ratio between the number of likes and dislikes are pretty even. In at number 5 we have Ray William Johnson. Ray is known for his vlogs, webisodes and commentaries on different subjects. At one point during his rise to fame, he was the most viewed and subscribed person on YouTube and even became YouTube's first millionaire. His channel was doing extremely well but then he decided he wanted to move on from YouTube so he stopped his show. But a lot of fans were complaining so he brought it back but with a new host. 
and you know, then another new host and another and another and another. Back in February, the channel lost over 20,000 subscribers in just a month alone. But the channel is still doing pretty well with 10 million subscribers, but the view counts on recent videos have really decreased. I mean, who knew people don't like a new host coming on an already really well established channel? <laughs> it's getting hot in here. In our number four spot, we have Sam Pepper. Oh, Sam Pepper. You guys knew this one was coming. Sam Pepper is known for performing pranks which many people believe to be scripted and fake, which he later admitted many were. However, a while back, Sam posted some questionable content. In one video, he went around the streets pinching girls' butt with a fake arm that resulted in him getting a lot of hate. This was after six women came forward saying he sexually assaulted them, and people are saying that he's a pedophile and even a rapist. Sam later came out with a video titled I'm Sorry, where he admits the content of the videos is fake, and before the cameras were rolling, he talked to all the females from the video and got their permission to have their butts pinched. In another not so nice video, he pranks his friend and he pretends to have someone kidnap them and then pretends to have one of the guys get shot in the head to get a reaction from the other friends. This really didn't go over well with fans and these videos have since been taken down from his channel. But since then, he like many others on this list lost thousands of subscribers and even had an online petition going around to have his channel banned. And this petition actually accumulated 200,000 supporters. At one point, he even took his own channel down for a short period of time. His current subscriber rate is 2.2 million, however each month this amount keeps slowly decreasing. In at number 3 we have Toby Turner. Toby has been a highly successful YouTuber for a long time, but now recently Toby was accused of rape and obviously this didn't go over well with his fans. A few months ago the alleged victim April Rogers came forward. She said throughout their on again off again 5 year relationship that he would emotionally and physically abuse her and even drugged her at one point. Then another woman named Amelia Talon came forward and said that Toby was physically abusive to her as well. After these women came out with their stories, Toby uploaded a video on his channel on April 11th called The Truth. In it he states that all of these accusations made by these two women were false, and said that he's never done anything without a woman's consent. Also, he said that he was shocked and hurt over what was said about him. But this allegation did result in him losing a few thousand subscribers, but since the incident he's gained back subscribers and currently has just over 2 million. In our number 2 spot, Drama Alert. I'm sure you all know by now about 5 months ago, Drama Alert wrongly accused an elderly 62 year old man of being a pedophile. And you know, they made him cry on stream. The actual pedophile's name is John, but Drama Alert mistook him for a man named Tony. And after the channel reported this video, a bunch of fans went over to Tony's channel and harassed this innocent man. Once people realized that the channel falsely accused this man, Drama Alert's numbers of subscribers went down and fans were extremely angry with this channel. Drama Alert went on to make an apology video, in which Keemstar admitted he was given this story by someone on his team and he thought it was legit but now realizes that it was a huge mistake. And he says he feels really ashamed. Alright, we talked about some pretty popular YouTubers who at one point or another took a hit in the subscriber pool. But the channel coming up in our number one spot, what they tried to do still shocks me. In our number one spot we have the Fine Bros Entertainment. This channel is still really successful as it has over 14 million subscribers, but it did take a hit because they did something pretty stupid. They actually thought they could copyright the word react. Yeah, seriously, this is why they're in our number one spot. They also tried to claim a lot of videos that use similar content to their videos, yet none of their video content was actually used. Yeah, they actually wanted to claim the rights to all the reaction videos out there on YouTube. How did they even think for a second this would come out in their favor? I don't know. Once the YouTube community caught wind of this, they weren't happy and decided to start putting thumbs down on all of their videos and unsubscribe. At one point the channel lost over 100,000 subs in just days. But shortly after they made a video explaining themselves and apologizing that they no longer were going to try to own the word react. They now seem to be forgiven and have already recovered in the numbers of subscribers they've lost. Well there you guys have it, this is our top 10 list of YouTubers that lost the most subscribers. Obviously there are other famous YouTubers that lost subscribers, but this is only a top 10 list so I can't list everyone. But if you feel like there's anyone I should have mentioned, you can comment it down below. Also in the comments let me know what top 10 lists I should do in an upcoming video. And I will catch all of you lovely people in the next one. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, as always we have more top 10 videos up over here for you guys. So feel free to check them out and also feel free to follow me on Instagram if you would like at Court McGinley or if you'd like you can follow my personal vlogging channel Court McGinley Vlogs, I'd really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next one.